that are gone that aren't in the league anymore? Can you just explain, like, what happened to them or something? That used to be in the pro series, I guess. That really would be it to add to the to their status or something or what happened to them. Other than that, I really can't think of anything else. All right, it looks really nice so far. Favorite race so far at North? Holy shit. That's a good question. I can't I can't remember. Probably a one that I want, but that that sounds that sounds really obvious. Everybody <laughs> is set for this matchup between the Detroit Lions and the Green Bay Packers here at Lambeau Field. Hello friends, Jim Nance along with Bill Sims. We have two teams today desperately want to beat one another. It has turned into one of the great rivalry matchups around the entire National Football League. And how do you see it, Phil, before kickoff? I'll just say it this way. I don't think they like each other a whole lot. So that that always makes for more exciting football. And we're Are you playing against him or the AI? All right, now let's go to Danielle Bellini, who has more on today's game. I spoke with both the Packers and the Lions, Jim. They're both coming off losses last week, and both teams are looking to secure a much-needed win. Each coach told me that in order to win today, they need to erase the memories of last week and focus on today. Now, whichever team does the better job of that will be the winner today. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. That's a kick return of about 24 before being brought down. Here's the man who leads the Lions high octane attack, quarterback Matthew Stafford. I think there's no doubt. We all look at Matthew Stafford. We can see the talent that he has. Now he has to take that talent and find a way to win more football games as starting quarterback of the Detroit Lions. First and 10. Bell's got it on the handoff. He's going to be tackled right around the 24-yard line. This offensive line today will be leaned on to protect their quarterback as well as opening up some running lanes. The Lions will go with the pistol on this play. Second and 10. Working that left side. Interception. He's got a little bit of daylight here. Count it. Touchdown. What a catch, what an interception, and not only that, take it all the way back for a touchdown. You talk about deflating for an offense. Ah, oh, shoot, that, that gets close to making them quit. The Lions are ready to receive the kick. able to take it out for a return of about 26 before being tackled down. Burleson's in the slot. First and 10. Bell's going to secure the handoff. That hit by B.J. Raji. 
the leader in that secondary is Tremont Williams. Yeah, with uh, Charles Woodson gone, they need him to step up and really be spectacular. He has the ability to do that. He can cover anybody in the NFL one-on-one. -on -one. Bell's taking the handoff. We're early in this one, but already a crucial third and long play coming up. Uh, these are tough situations. What are you going to do on the offensive side? There's only so much you can do. If I was the defense, I would look for a screen. Third and ten. The quarterback throws to the right. He leaps up to grab it. Good job by the defense. Uh, they're well taught, well schooled by the defensive coordinator. They know in situations like this, if it's thrown short of the first down marker, they're good. They come up, make the tackle. Now we have fourth down. Gains 14. Here is the MVP of the 2011 NFL season. Out of California, Berkeley, quarterback Aaron Rodgers. It's been said many times, we know about his arm when you talk about Aaron Rodgers, but it's the foot movement, getting out of trouble, and throwing the football on the run. It really separates him from a lot of other quarterbacks. Here's the offensive line, which must protect its quarterback today. Lynch is in the backfield, single back set. And incompletion right there, but it really should have been an interception. Nick Fairley is one of the talented young defenders for Detroit. He definitely is. They got a defensive front that can really hit the quarterback. And Nick Fairley, at the end of 2012, was coming on strong. We'll see if he can keep it up. The Packers come to the line, and they put their receivers in a bunch formation. He's got the grab, and he's got the first. That's a terrible job by the defense in the gym. I mean, you, you got third and over 10 yards. You don't get a pass rush. You don't cover them down the field, and you give up the first down. Nelson's lined up in the slot. Now first and 10. Marshawn Lynch takes the football. Good job by the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. The Green Bay Packers and the Detroit Lions. My goodness, is there history between these two teams? Well, there is, but it seems like most of that history, or I should say the one-sidedness of this rivalry over the last few years, the Green Bay Packers have dominated the Detroit Lions, but the Lions think they're on the way up. We'll see if they can unseat the Packers today. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Scrambling out of the pocket. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. I don't even want to speculate what the injury is, but I think it's safe to say by just watching the player, he's in a lot of pain, and I hope it's not serious. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Do one thing at a time. Catch the football, then do the next thing, run with it. He tried to run with it too quick. That's why he dropped it. Offense lines up here. Third and long. Makes the reception. He's got a wide open alley. They pounce on him there. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator. A little screen pass to the halfback. He knew the defensive line was going to be charging hard. They were, and it picked up some nice yards. First down, following the long play. The throw to the left. Aaron Rodgers out to James Jones. Zone defense doesn't work in the NFL like it used to. Good job by the quarterback reading that zone and finding the open guy. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Got what he wanted. Touchdown. I'd say this run by the offense is just, it's arrogance. They just say, you can't stop us. And they lined up and just shoved it down the defense's throat. Nice run there on first and goal for the touchdown. Mason Crosby ready for the kickoff. Not 
not able to kick it into second gear as he's taken down after a return of about 20. And in the eye. First down here. Looking to the right side and throwing. Thomas there to catch him. Oh, a lot of heat on it. Well, Jim, I always say it's about deception when you're playing offense. That time, the play action fake by the quarterback was so good, the defense didn't even see that he still had the football, and he throws it down there for a nice completion. First down and 10. Bell's handed the football, and he'll go to the left. Thomas is a receiver in the slot. Second down and seven. That ball is picked off. Tackles made. Well, nowadays, your linebackers, they got to be able to do everything. They got to be big enough to get in there and stop the run, and also athletic enough to be able to get in position and make an interception. Good job by the linebacker. Aaron Rodgers will be under center. First and 10. Tosses it to the running back. Nowhere else to go, and he's out of bounds. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Offense lines up here. Rodgers from the shotgun. Looking to scramble. Challenging the defenders to the right side. One of the reasons why Aaron Rodgers completes such a high percentage of his passes, when he doesn't see somebody open, he's able to get out of the pocket and dodge defenders and pick up yards. What an athlete. The Lions come out in the nickel. They're setting up screen. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. This defense you're playing against, they're pretty good. So it's fourth down near midfield. Punt the football. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. Um, on the, he's going to answer me question number five. I'm giving him long, detailed. Burleson is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Heading right. He's brought it. Describe yourself. I literally went on like five essays nice about job. how what happened in my tackle. life. Well, that's why you have these big old wide bodies in there to stop. I'll probably quite some. Runs. Good job. That's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid I'm going to have like a misspelling and he's going to carry on to the freaking pistol. Second down and 10. Going to be a tackle for a loss. <laughs> In these type of situations when you lose the game, it's third and long. Don't try to be a hero because when you try to be a hero, it's going to lead to a turnover. But then you're you really will be in trouble. Born. And you're on par with the second Thomas league. lined up now as a slot receiver. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Under pressure and incomplete. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. Great starting field position on that return. What a good job by the punt return at that time. He caught it, didn't panic. He waited. He saw the blocking in front of him, made some good decisions, and a good punt return. Moss is in the slot. First and 10. Jones has got the cool hands on a pass that had a lot of heat. 
Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. End of one here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. We'll be back momentarily for the start of the second. The Packers still driving as the second quarter gets underway. Jones lined up in the slot. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Jim, sooner or later, you get in these situations, you got to throw the football. As we have seen today, they keep trying to run it, but there's not much there to go. Of course, this is a matchup, uh, getting back to Packers and Lions, that's been played so many times on Thanksgiving Day. It has many times, and I think, again, for these two teams to be more evenly matched, Matt Stafford is going to have to find a way to play a lot more like Aaron Rodgers. Stafford, very good young quarterback, but can he drive his team to win games consistently like Aaron Rodgers has for the Green Bay Packers? He's brought down at the 23-yard line. Very few teams in the league can do this and run the football for first downs. Anytime it's in a situation, third and two, third and three, they don't even think about run because they're not tough enough to get it done. They have to throw it. Nice job of this offense. That's a gain of seven. Nelson, a receiver in the slot. Another handoff. Picks up maybe three. This team likes to throw the football in the end zone once they get inside the red zone. This is a nice changeup. They fool them. Well, they thought they were going to fool them with the run, but it only gets a short game. They beat it to them again. And gains maybe four. First down by the offense in the red zone. And, you know, you're on the defensive side. You don't have to worry about deep passes anymore. You can be more aggressive and take some chances. No margin for error from just outside the goal line. In the end, it picks up only a yard. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Second and goal from the eight. The quarterback throws to the right. Touchdown, Green Bay Packers. Well, you got a lead, you drive down the field, you score a touchdown. Now we're going to find out if the other team can stay patient or will they panic. The Lions will now be in an even deeper hole here as they get ready to return the kick. Scores 21-0. to zero. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. Look at that glitch for its life. And Pettigrew Awkwardly playing out of position each other. in the backfield here. Bell's going to take the handoff now. They've got him down there. Burleson's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Across the middle, <laughs> the pass. You don't see it often in today's game. These gloves, these wide receivers wear, my gosh, anybody could catch it. I don't know how he dropped it. Matthew Stafford will be under center. Bell's got it on the handoff. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. Nothing fancy about that, but it's a good run. Gets a first down. Now the offense has three more chances. Jim Schwartz on that sideline for the Detroit Lions. Had him in the postseason back in 2011, but then they went from the postseason to a 4-12 year. And what about Jim Schwartz coaching the Lions? It was an alarming year for the uh, Detroit Lions last year. I'm sure the franchise, the 
owner, the fan base, all very disappointed. The team was a little bit out of control. They showed no discipline, and that's the reason why they had such a terrible year. They've got to change that if they want to win again and get back to the playoffs. Now first to ten, wasting no time. Here's the toss to the outside. You've got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run... All right, I'm, I'm, I'm halfway there. Purpose. Matthew oh. Stafford will oh. be under center. Second down. One of his questions was, who do you think raised you extra hard? And I put switch on this throw. Felt wrong doing it. But I was doing well, that's a nice throw and catch by the quarterback and receiver. Puts them in good position where they have a chance to pick up this third down. The Detroit Lions a year ago went from a playoff team to well, he, four and twelve. Well, Happen. They were out. He knows. I, I said simple. Wrecking and the and and play led to turnovers, penalties. But I, I should have put Revan like a lot of times. Just could not overcome. I got be much better this year. They're set to punt it away now. But I didn't because I'm just get those Hispanic people. Rex, you take it. You take it. Uh. Racially. They'll take it at the top. Oh my God. Who's the most underrated driver in Newark? Me. <laughs> they come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Lynch. Man, a run right up the middle. I guess they think these short runs are like body punches. They're going to wear the defense down and start getting some big gains. I don't know about that. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. The Packers get a first down. What a job by the quarterback finding a way to throw that football and pick up another first down. They are marching down the field right now. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. First down and 10. He has the grab. Brought down at the 41-yard line. I think the best thing to say about that play... Higher shoes it, it, together and he yards, So that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. Moss is lined up now as a slot receiver. Ball's going to be incomplete. The hit knocked the ball out. I think I might get mad. Only say if you get your hands on the football, you got to the kids. Yeah, right. The guy that made that wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the probably, uh, probably not. There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. Trying to make something happen. Ball is out. The tackle is made. Is that game any different from last year? Bring up fourth down. Just what the ball. They may have a costly turnover. They're able to somehow recover the football. You know, Jim, you know what happens to guys on offense when they fumble the football? You know where they go? To the bench. That's where this man is going. You fumble it, you're in trouble, you take him out of the game. Lynch is lined up as the single back. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. Play number six coming up on this drive. First and ten. They'll run with it again. They deck him in the backfield. Easy, 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 easy. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. And we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. Moss is in the slot. 319. Second and 12. Marshawn Lynch takes the football. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Rogers hits Jermichael Finley.
anytime you picked up a couple first downs, here's what happens. The defense starts to doubt what they're doing, but maybe more importantly, it gets those big boys over there tired. They've got a first down now after that catch. Screen play is on. Good yardage picked up on that call. They'll go no huddle. This long drive continues. Looking to the right side and throwing. The quarterback throws it on the mark. From inside the red zone, so dangerous. Offense heading to the line for the 11th play of the drive. This is a screen play all the way. Stephen Tullett in on the play. And you can see how they fared in the red zone to this point, which is brought to you by Verizon. Mounting a serious drive. Second and goal from the six. Lynch. And picks up maybe three or four. The Packers are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. This has been a long drive so far. And they score again here to pad the lead. Well, that's really having deep belief in your offensive line. And then third and goal, your offensive line just road grades the defense out there and they get the touchdown running the football. The Lions have really just been outplayed in every facet of this game. Really just looking for any sort of answer. The score's 28 to 0. He'll take a knee here, and that means the offense will start the game at the 20. The Lions now bring their offense back onto the field for the next drive. Setting up in the pistol on this play. First and 10. Bell's taking the handoff, trying the right side. Got to stay patient with the run game. And that's what the offense is doing here. Even though they haven't had any big gains yet, there's a little short gain that time, but you're hoping to break one sooner or later. So that's going to do it for the first half. Packers are up here in this one, which is brought to you by Verizon. We're back here now in this one, where the Packers lead by 28. The Packers are back deep, ready to return. The kick coverage team doing its job, and that's a run back of only 17. The Packers are ready to take over now, and their offense heads onto the field. Now in first down, and now here's the first snap of the second half. Well, the quarterback's just too worried about his stats. So he throws that short pass, picks up a couple yards instead of throwing it down the field. They'll go with the extra tonnage here with the jumbo set. Nice job that time. The run play gets the first down. You move those chains. Hey, it's kind of fun to watch a team tough enough and patient enough to run the football to get these first downs instead of throwing it all the time. First down here after the run. Play action. Challenging the defenders to the right side. The Packers now move the chains. It's always good when your quarterback is able to deceive the defense with good play action fakes. That's what did it that time. Look at the quarterback. Nice fake. Defense 
reacts to the run, and now you throw it over the top for the easy completion. And now on first down, they'll go back to the air, and they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. You can't play zone coverage against this quarterback. He knows it's zone, and he's going to find the open throwing lane, and he gets it done. First down here after the completion. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. Middle linebackers now are asked to be tackling machines. And my man in the middle, that's what he is. That time gets up in there and makes a tackle for a short game. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Second and ten. Screen pass. Pass is made and it's incomplete. The hit jars the ball out. The Packers have to get to the 33 for a first. Play number six coming up on this drive. And it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. Forget the punter. Let's go for it, says the coach on fourth down. Offense lines up here. The Packers get a first down. Oh, we got us a nice drive going here, Jim. Another first down. They are just making one solid play after another and just marching down the field. That reception gave them the first down. Marshawn Lynch takes the football. The blowout continues. Another touchdown. Now you know why running backs get drafted high. Because these long running plays for touchdowns, that's what you want. That's what the NFL is about. Making big plays, and when you get them in the running game, that's like double good. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. The Lions bring their offense back onto the field for their next drive. The man. See the man. Thomas is lined up in the slot. Now first and ten. Bells handed the football. Now cutting to the right side, looking for some open space. What a good job by the defensive player there. Just flushing the running back and driving him into the ground. Hey, looks like this. Looks like this. Thomas, a receiver in the slot. Tight end in motion. Stafford standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. That's a gain of six. Burleson's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Third and on number ten. Always aware of the chains. He's got the catch, and he's got the first. When you're behind in a football game, all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs, good job by the offense. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Looks to his left, secures it with two hands. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later that defense is going to come up, and when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. Thomas is lined up now as a slot receiver. Second and three. Bell's going to take the handoff now. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. It's a mindset. It's a culture. That's what you got to create when you talk about running the football. And when you get it going the right way, you can grind a defense up. Another first down for this offense running the football. And Pettigrew's usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. And now will be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Has a terrible read by the running back. It's a short game, but it's all his fault. He picked the wrong hole. He should have cut it back. He didn't, and that's why he was tackled. Lined up in the pistol formation. Second down and seven. Looking for an open receiver on the right. That catch will extend the drive. 
Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league, so we all know that. So you've got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. Matthew Stafford will be under center. First down and 10 to the right. And they tackle him there at the 34. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stop him for a short game. Burleson in the slot. Second down and seven. Right back to him one more time. A tackle behind the line. Terrible call that time by the coach. The defense was expecting run. They were up there. They were aggressive. Crowd the line of scrimmage. And you just you just played right into their hands. And they got the tackle for the loss. Third and eight. The quarterback throws to the right. And he's intercepted. That'll stop the play right there. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. Lynch is lined up in a single back formation. First and 10. Lynch in on the stop. And here we have second down from the shotgun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Pass is made, but the hit knocks the ball out. Incomplete. That's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch. He knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. Nelson's lined up in the slot. Throwing now to his left. Airtight coverage. Incomplete. Ah, the defense got away with one that time. It wasn't a good play in their part. It was just bad timing by the quarterback and receiver. Here's a team that likes to gamble a bit. They're going to go for it on fourth down. Moss is a receiver in the slot. Looking to the right side and throwing. Good job by the defense. Their team is down. It's in the second half. And the opposing offense, what do they do? They go for it on fourth down. You are ready for the play. You make the stop. That'll turn things around. Johnson's going to get set in the slot for this snap. First and ten. He makes the catch. That pass play wasn't good for much. So now it's second down and nine. Stafford's got it in the gun, eyeing that left side. And the throw, it's incomplete. Terrible throw by the quarterback. Terrible route by the wide receiver. Oh, wow, what a shock. The football was incomplete. Thomas lined up now as a slot receiver. Third and nine. Challenging the defenders to the right side. The tackle is made, and that's a three-and-out series for the offense. Terrible job by the quarterback. It's third down. You throw it short of the markers. Well, you get a completion. That's great. Uh, you're really accurate, but there were guys open down the field. Take a chance and go for it. 15 minutes to go, and we'll return after this message and a word from your local station. Welcome back. Not quite as riveting as many expected coming into this one. Punters all set here. And a touchback. The Packers will come to the line. Been an all-around team effort today. The score's 35 to 0. First down on the way. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. And not until they pick up good yardage is he brought down. 
You know, when the linebackers, when they see that the offensive formation is shifted to one side, well, as a linebacker, you've got to play to that strong side and try to get up there and stop the run. Now first and ten. Leading on that running attack again here on first down. Nice run that time by the running back. And if they keep running the football like this, it's just a matter of time before they fake it and throw that football over the top of the defense. They are being physical. The running back doing a good job, and they are making it happen in the running game today. Ezekiel Anza is in there and makes the play. Good job that time by the running back. I'm sure he's a little winded after that play. He showed that speed getting out there and picking up those extra yards. Here's the first snap after the big play. Staying with the running game on first down. Once again, this offense in the red zone. This defense has been awful all day long. Can they, can they bow their necks a little and show a little toughness and maybe stop them this time? New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Running to the right. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Quarterback drops back, play action. Jordan, no stopping him now. That's a touchdown. Well, there's an old saying in the NFL, you know how many points you need? And the answer is more. So no matter what the lead is, keep trying to score. Nice job of the offense getting that extra touchdown. I put junior fans to try hard. Mason Crosby, ready to kick. <laughs> Touchback, the ball will be I put slow, or he said slow, so I said PCP. Thomas is in the slot. First down and 10. He'll fire it out to the left. Calvin Johnson with the catch. Shakes off the hit. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. Thomas lined up in the slot. First and ten. Makes the catch. Well, wow. the stiff arm. He's brought down at the 46. Oh, I loved it when I was a quarterback, throwing screens or throwing short passes to the running backs and watch them catch it and get those big yards. Uh, it, was, it was awesome to get cheap yards like that. First and ten. Into the open flat. And he hauls it in. And they bring him down at the 44-yard line. When you see zone defenses, throw it into the open spaces. That's what the thing. I feel like turbo. Good job by the receiver running in there and making the catch. Uh, Second down and eight point got no way. Quarterback throws the pass. And he's brought down by A.J. Hawk. Well, that's a nice completion by the offense. And what it does, it just puts them in a more manageable situation so they can pick up that third down. Thomas is a receiver in the slot. Looks like a penalty on the defense. That flag gives them a new set of downs. Stafford in shotgun formation. Looking for an open receiver on the right. How did he drop that? It's really simple. Keep your eyes on the football. When they're not on it, that's when you drop it. And that's what happened that time. Burleson is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Midway through the fourth quarter. Sticks to his hands. Good job by the quarterback that time. Makes the decision. Throws it short. It does not get the first down. But I promise you, third best driver. short is a lot easier. I'm going to put myself on Third down and six. Screen. Oh. Finds Calvin Johnson. Good, solid tackle. Short of the first. And now we've got a fourth down situation.
the kick is good. Well, even though they get the field goal that time, it's still disappointing. You get in that position, you'd like to score a touchdown. And that's a gain of 10. What a nice spot to begin this drive. Lynch is lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. The quarterback will hand it off. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're a running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running it. That last running number for only a yard, so it's second down. Oh. Nice. Someone put Wes and Alex. Play clock. Head of the goal speed. Marshawn Lynch takes the football. They're going to run it right. Well, that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block? to free up that running back so he has a chance to get in that secondary and make a nice run out of it. The play clock's running down. Another carry here. A tackle that had to be made, and that'll set up fourth down. In this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front, and that time they stopped that run just for a short game. And now we reach the two-minute warning. The offense comes back out here on fourth down. Hurry up, hurry up. They load it up now, bring out the jumbo formation. Gets it again here. Not giving up another inch. Well, once again, the offense is in the red zone. They've got a big lead. I think it's up to this defense finally show a little toughness and try to stop them for once. From inside the red zone. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Oh my God, not put. I was going to put J.D. as number four and saying he needs improvement as well as um, his girlfriend needs to give him head while he's racing. <laughs> he's in for the touchdown. I would bet first and goal that the offense about... This is still has to be us. This is still has to be us. And what do they do here? They run it, and they get it done. That is power football at its best. They're going to bypass the point after and try to pick up a two-point conversion. And they will not convert here on the two-point conversion. Good stand by the defense. Packers now ready to kick the football down the field. He'll take a knee in the end zone. The Lions get ready to start their drive. Burleson's lined up now as a slot receiver. Now first and ten. That reception picks up the first down. Getting set as fast as they can. First down and ten. The Lions now move the chains, and the tackle is made at the 41. Away from the ball, there's a flag down on the field. And it's out of bounds incomplete.
That's what happens when you try to guess the snap count. They'll take that gift from the defense and line up now with a new set of downs. Matthew Stafford from the shotgun. Got to make that play. Look the football in. With the gloves these receivers wear, the rules that you can't touch them, there's no excuse for dropping the football. Thomas in the slot. Second and five. Reaches out and grabs it. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. They're going to the hurry-up offense, and they're back to the line quickly. Burleson's lined up in the slot. And the quarterback is taken down. The coach is going to go for it. Snickers is the proud sponsor of this satisfying defensive replay. When hunger hits, Snickers satisfies. Failed to pick up the first down, and they'll give the ball back to the other side. Well, Jim, I can't say that's great defense. That's just a poor throw and a poor route run by the wide receiver. The Packers are set for their next possession. Moss is a receiver in the slot. The quarterback throws to the right. The Packers get a first down. Runs out of bounds. The quarterbacks and wide receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Aaron Rodgers going to take it from the shotgun. Makes the catch in open space. That brings the play to an end. The Packers are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Breaking huddle at the 23-yard line. This will be the final snap. First and 10. Set up screen. And he'll step out of bounds. We knew it early. This was blowout city from the beginning. 